Hello my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So I'm joined by a very special monster today. It's been a while since he's been on the channel. We are going to do a design space project today. He wants to do some sewing, don't you? So yeah. we're going to make a pillow and then we're going to use some iron-on. So we're in design space and we want to find a project and we are going to actually go in and look at the kids crafts. So the project that Monster has chosen today is the Pillow Fight project. So you can see there is iron on and we're also going to cut out some fabric. Uh, so we're going to be doing some sewing. We're not going to do all the images, we're only going to do one. So we are going to go to customize. You want to do the grenade, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. So we'll just get rid of all these other ones. So we're then left with the grenade. So the whole point of this is that you're meant to cut out your iron on and then you're meant to manually cut your pillow shape, sew it together, add your iron on and then put your stuffing in. But we're actually gonna cut the fabric on the machine today. So I just want to make this a little bit bigger. Let's make it 10 inches in height. And then we're going to go to shapes and we're going to grab a circle. We're going to unlock the circle and then we're going to just transform it so it becomes the shape of our grenade. And this is gonna be our fabric and then we can iron on our grenade onto it. So it's going to look a little bit like something like that. Now we need two of the fabric pieces, so we're going to duplicate that. We are going to need a 12 by 24 mat for our fabric. We're using our maker today, so we're going to be using the rotary blade. But of course, if you're using an Air or an Air 2, you can still cut your fabric, but you will need to pre-bond it first. And then we've got our iron-on. So we can go to make it. Our fabric we can leave as it is, but our iron-on we need to mirror. And we can then go to continue. For mats one and two we're going to be using fabric, so I will choose the medium fabrics like cotton setting. Uh, for three and four we're going to be using iron-on, but he's not chosen his iron-on yet, so we shall wait and see which iron-on we're going to use. Again, I'm using my rotary blade, but if you've got an Air or an Air 2, you can use your premium fine point blade or the pink fabric blade, and you'll just need to pre-bond your fabric. So we've got our first piece of fabric, and we've put it on our pink fabric mat, and now Monster's just gonna go in with the Cricut applicator, or the fabric brayer, as I like to call it. And it's just gonna really secure the fabric to the mat, make sure there's no bubbles in it, make sure that there's no lines that are kind of overlapping each other, and just make sure that it is nice and flat. We are going to be using the Cricut Rotary Blade today. Do not run your fingers across their monster, it hurts. It will bleed, there will be lots of blood everywhere. Uh, so you want to make sure that you're very careful when you're putting it in the machine. So the first thing we need to do is put our rotary blade in. So we're just going to put that in the blade clamp and then close it up. Okay. We're then just going to pull up a corner and then you can peel back the fabric. There you go. There's your grenade. Not really, it's just a pillow bit. <laughs> it's a miracle. It's a miracle! <laughs> Let's get you your tweezers. So you want to pinch your tweezers together and then just pull your fabric up. That's it. Perfect. Yeah. Wonderful. So Monster's gone for the holographic iron-on, which is the Cricut holographic iron-on. I must admit these are lovely to work with. So we've gone for a blue and a red, and we're going to have the red as the grenade yeah. and the blue for the middle of the grenade. Okay. So, 
Look at those colours, isn't it lovely? Yeah. One minute it's red, then it's yeah. yellow, a little bit of green in there. <coughs> Can you remember what the important thing with iron on is? Um, How do we put it on the mat? Can you remember? No. Do we put it shiny side up or shiny side down? Down. We do. We put it shiny side down. Well done. So we're going to get a corner. Of the non shiny side. And then if you want to come in and pull it. That's it. Ah, nice and easy. Yeah. How pretty is that? It's cool. That's very cool, isn't it? Mm. That's alright, we'll sort that in a sec. Oh, you can pull it. Perfect. Would you like to do some weeding? Yeah. Yeah. So you need to remove these middle bits. Okay. Okay. Just these bits. Well, this bit here. Right. An easier way to do it is to get the tool and to put the point in. Yeah. And then just scoop it up. Okay. So try it with this bit. That's it, pull, there you go. Right. Then this bit. That's it. Perfect. Then you need to pick all these bits up and then put them in the bin. Because you are the bin man. <laughs> so you're all ready to go for the next bit? Yeah. Okay, so we've got our easy press mat, we've got our fabric, and then we've got our easy press. So we've gone onto the interactive guide, and it tells us that we need to heat our easy press to to 330 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're going to press for 30 seconds. So I want you to lift the easy press up, and I want you to just heat the mat up a little bit. That's it. Make sure you don't touch the base at all. Move it around so it can. That's it. it only needs a few seconds and then put it back in its cradle and then bring it onto the fabric and just heat that for a few seconds that's it, move it around a little bit perfect well done and then put it back in its cradle that's pretty cool right? Yeah. So you need to get your easy press and you need to place it on part of there without burning my fingers would be yeah. good. Right, a little bit like that, that's it, and then press your C and then just hold down. So there we go. You see how it's gone like puffy? Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well done. And then you want to fan it for 30 seconds. <laughs> You look like you're hit in the air, like this, fan, not... <laughs> and we're just going to gently start peeling away. That's it, so lift it back. That's it. Nice and slowly. Well done. I remember when we done this with my um, top. We did, didn't we? There you go, and then you can go put that in the bin. Oh, it's got too small for me. <laughs> it's too small for you now. Yeah. Okay, so we've got our carrier sheet over, but you've got this little bit here that's now exposed. So we're going to use our Cricut heat protectant sheet, but if you don't have one, then you can use a Teflon sheet. So you're going to pick your easy press up, and you're going to bring it onto where the new blue bit is. 
So about there. Try yep, yeah, go for it. There you go, you want to peel. They look almost the same now. They do a little bit, don't they? Yeah. But I think in different lights you'll see the yeah, different colours. Like yeah. Oh, they have taken on the same colour, haven't they? Yeah. That's odd, because they're two different... Well, it is quite cool. It is very cool, isn't it? Yeah. Look, if you have it like that... Yeah, you can see, see it a little bit, yeah. Huh. Perfect, stop. And then we're going to do a couple of back. Keep going. Perfect, and then go forward. It how it's meant to go. This will make a very uncomfortable pillow. A very uncomfortable pillow? <laughs> yeah. What? Because of the iron on? No, if it was real. Like, real grenade, it would make a very. Um, oh, a real grenade? Yeah, yeah, it would not be a very comfortable pillow. What could I do? It would not be a good idea. It would book. not be a good idea, no. More than. I don't know, that's so what I'm just trying to figure out. No, I think you'll be alright. I think you'll be okay. So we that'll, just that would be a good pillow for journeys. It's small. It's small. Yeah. yeah, it might be. So we're gonna sew up that hole, mm. and then you can bash your brother with it <laughs> <laughs> with your grenade. Yeah, exactly. That's it. Yeah. yeah. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Are you proud of yourself? <coughs> Yeah. Yeah, because you made that, didn't you? Yep. And of course now you can just bash away. Who are you gonna bash first? Um probably a friend or, or my brother. Oh your a friend or your brother. <laughs> okay, well it's okay because it's just a pillow, it's yeah. not a real grenade. <laughs> yeah. So we're okay. But I think next time maybe we should try and do the sword. Sword, yeah. Because that was quite cool. Or the lightsaber. Because yeah. that was quite wicked. Right, so hopefully this has given you an idea to do with your little ones or your visiting children that may be visiting you and you can have some nice craft time with them and they can then go home and cause trouble. <laughs>